Updated booster shots for COVID-19 are now authorized for Americans as young as 12 years old. And here this afternoon to answer your questions is Dr. Todd Ellerin, Chief of Infectious Diseases at South Shore Health. It's great to see you, Dr. T. Looking wonderful on this Friday afternoon. So the CDC director gave the green light last night to two new boosters, one from Pfizer, the other from Moderna. Both are designed to target the Omicron subvariants currently causing the most COVID infections. Now, some experts have said that you don't have enough information about safety and efficacy to make that decision. As, as an infectious disease expert, what's your take? Eddie, I think Dr. Walensky made the right call. The CDC gave the green light as the FDA did a couple of days ago. And I think that's right, let's face it. If we wanted more clinical trials for this bivalent vaccine, we'd have to wait more months. By that time, BA5 would likely be in our rear view mirror. The good news is now we have a matched vaccine that's supposed to be released as of next week. And it's going to, while the BA5 is still circulating. So we have a good match like we did way back when in the beginning. Mm -hmm. So hopefully these vaccines will be very effective, will reduce transmissions at least for some period of time. Fingers crossed for sure. And Moderna's booster is now authorized for adults 18 and older. Pfizer's booster can be given to people as young as 12. Is that the only difference between the shots? Shana, it really is. I mean, now they have two different sequences as opposed to one, but it's the same total amount of vaccine as in the prior boosters. I do want to remind everyone, though, that the boosters that we have been using are going away. These bivalent boosters will be replacing those and they're currently going to be recommended for anyone 12 and older for Pfizer and anyone 18 and older for Moderna. So Dr. T to that point, let's talk about when someone should get a, a shot. For example, what does the CDC recommend for people who have already had at least one booster? Right. So what they're basically saying is anyone that meet those age eligibility can get it as long as two months of, have elapsed uh -huh. since the last booster, okay? Or from the primary series. Now, we could argue some of us want a little bit more spacing in between. I often tell my patients three to six months, but, and, and, and after COVID, I tell my patients, if you've been infected to wait about three months, the CDC says you can get it any time after um, you've resolved your mm -hmm. infection. Again, we don't know what the exact answer is, mm -hmm. but the bottom line is remember something, less than half of Americans have received their first booster. Mm -hmm. Of those eligible for their second booster, less than a third have received that. So I don't think the question is as much timing. It's that as Americans, we're under boosted and I strongly urge people to roll up their sleeves and get this bivalent booster. All right, and you've told us before that you're up to date on your COVID shots. The same is true for your two teenage kids. Have you decided yet whether you're getting new booster shots and when you'll do it? There is no question as a family, we are two thumbs up with the a new booster. I'm hoping to get it next week and to get it into my kids next week. We'll obviously have to see how quickly it gets here, but the sooner the better because BA5 is still surging. It makes up 90% of the cases in the United States right now. Dr. Cheese, great to see you. Have a wonderful weekend. You too. Take care. And to our viewers, if you have COVID related questions that you'd like our experts to answer, email them to ask at wcvb.com.